Well, this is so pertinent. I mean, what couple today hasn't struggled with trying to understand right. how do we use the good stuff that comes with social media without getting tripped up right. in our own relationship? Because there's a few landmines out there. There are some landmines. The landmine that, that I experience with my friends and the couples I've talked to the most, honestly, is just that it can devote so much of your time. Yeah. You, you get distracted, you get drawn into the, the conversations and the fun online, and it takes you out of the here and now with the people right. who want to connect. I had a pastor recently tell me in pre-marriage counseling, he kind of wants to just ask, how do you like each other's forehead? because you're gonna see a lot of this, you know, as you uh, go uh, down right. your way together. But not only is it time, but then there's this kind of uh, temptation to measure your life against oh, so. everybody else's yeah. and try to keep up with the proverbial Joneses. And boy, is that, that's a landmine. Well, it's a landmine and it's also a lie, basically, because nothing you see online represents the truth. It right. represents a small slice of the truth right. and it's the best of the best. So that's what you have to remember you know, it's just, it's, it's the winsome part of someone else's life compared to the worst part of yours. And that is not the truth. And then uh, lastly, I would suggest, you know, while everybody's talking about the world's biggest social network, you know, yeah. and all this platform that we can be on, think about the world's smallest social network. And that's just the two of you. Yes. And how can you create and use the technology to your advantage, leverage that for your relationship. I love that because when you use like texting to share with me first yeah. something that's happening in your day when I'm not with you, that's a good way to use social Absolutely. media, right? Absolutely. Hashtag you can do this.